Hey, real quick, just want to let you all know that this is the last week, the last chance you guys have to pick up an item from Masked Up Clothing Collection 2 on MaskedUp.shop. We're undergoing some big changes and gearing up for the next release, so these designs won't be up for much longer, and they might never be available again. The product is super well made and well designed, and mad comfortable, according to me and the people who have bought it so far. So if you want to cop something, once again, that's MaskedUp.shop. I'll say it one last time, that's MaskedUp.shop. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hi again, guys. It has been a long few weeks of social distancing for me, all right? It's true, not much has actually changed in my daily life. The days are all blurring together per usual, and I'm not entirely sure where I am at any given moment, but that's normal for me. Only going outside for groceries and sitting at my computer doing nothing, feeling like I should be productive right now. And hey, if all that sounds like what you're going through right now, congrats! You know what it feels like to be a YouTuber now. And I think it's high time that I force myself to actually act like the YouTuber that I totally actually am. And to do that, I need my motivation back, because right now, I'm running on empty. And you can't exactly just go to a gas station and refill on that stuff, you know, because all the stores are closed. So in order to get my mojo back, we're gonna try a few things. And the first of those things is Old Faithful, my love of numbers. Let's start with the number of you watching this video who are not subscribed. That being about half. Really, man? Please subscribe and turn notifications on. It would really help a brother out in these trying times of playing too much Doom Eternal. Now that's the long-term gamble. We won't see the results of that until after this video is uploaded, so that quick dose of motivation that I'm hoping will get this video popping like my wiener when I see a lawn gnome or Instagram motivational posts. I had struck these eldritch horrors from the corners of my mind until the endless curse of having too much free time struck me with a Drew Gooden video. Things are very weird right now. One where he talked about these motivational accounts that will hopefully get us through the world world ending. Drew gave us a few accounts that we could look at to help keep our spirits bright, but before tapping into any of those, if at all, I would like to do some research of my own. So I headed to hashtag motivation on Instagram to find some motivating images and content. Instead I got images of many women, many of which were pictures taken in the room of them just hanging out. And for whatever reason, they decided that one look at their face was motivational. The hashtag did get my pee pee popping, so I'll count that as a win. Also found in the hashtag was this dog, these feet, and this dude. He's just a dude. Uh, the first person I want to look at today is Spiritual Goddess 1111. What happened to the other 1110? She's got some bars to drop on us. This shit is straight fire. Not the quotes, but the images themselves. They are just out of this world. A silhouette of a man and a woman, standing in front of a blazing heart that represents the fiery passion they have for one another. One whose heat reaches the edges of the cosmos. A beautiful story for a free sample reading from Psychic Nala. All you have to do is call, text, or DM 1-800-D's-NUTS. This post hasn't exactly motivated me. In fact, I think I feel worse now that I've been made aware that I'm in a crumbling marriage I need to fix via the use of psychic reading techniques. But hey, maybe this quote will help. They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. I mean, I guess in a literal sense, we were all at some point seeds and that we all got shot out of a dude's cock at one point. That was crazy. But I'm pretty sure the only time you find the kinds of seeds that we used to be in the ground is at a crime scene. Do not think. Train. Ugh. All I can think of, and I know I'm not supposed to do that, I'm sorry, but all I can think of is that this is a man with no thoughts except of trades. At night, Thomas the Tank Engine fills this man's head with visions of another world. Something so beautiful that he can only truly comprehend and appreciate when he is fully separated from the domain of the conscious. I think if he were asked what he saw in those dreams, his response would be the only thing anyone would be able to say after seeing the things that he has. Train. I found this really small motivational posts account that posts pretty typical stuff. Like we have Bobblehead JFK making his forehead an even bigger target than before, telling us efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. And I really gotta say, JFK is a man that I personally look up to, and I'm glad that this account has put him up there with the other motivational greats. Like Hitler, apparently. Here we have General Bitch Boy himself posed on a near identical background to JFK, saying some shit about how life isn't about surviving the storm, it's about learning to dance in the rain. A quote that he didn't even say. What in the fuck is happening here? Now, in fairness to the account, they don't directly credit the quote to Hitler. He's just kind of hanging out. But they do later on say that Stalin at some point said lol, and that is a historical inaccuracy I cannot tolerate. You can fuck your whole life just by hanging with wrong people. This image is a visual representation of how it feels to be me when I say that I like Logan Paul. It's been brought up before, but one thing I never understood and probably never will understand about these motivational images is the, like, 
two or three options they have for images to put behind their chosen get off your ass quotes. You either pick some really pretty scenery of something, whether that's of the mountains, a jungle, the beach, it doesn't matter at all. You just turn the opacity down on it to make it a little darker, and then you can put the quote on top of that, usually in a cursive font so they know you're being sincere. You can also take a picture of just some dude, usually he's in a nice suit, has expensive things, or is in the gym working out, but you lower the opacity again, and then you plop the white text inspirational quote on top of them. It's standard stuff. And the last way I see a bunch is slapping some image of a fictional character under the quote. And really, instead of fictional character, I could just say the Joker, because it's always the Joker. It's always an image of the fucking Joker. Why are people so motivated by the goddamn Joker? In the movie, he is like the antithesis of everything these motivational accounts seem to believe in. He's scrawny and has no muscles. And everybody knows that you can't legally look at these posts unless you have big Rob Liefeld drawn Captain America muscles like myself. Y'all are pushing it by watching a YouTube video about these, so don't be surprised if the Secret Service turns up at your house pretty soon just wanting to ask you some questions. Ugh. All of this talk about men without muscles that make their skin look like it's about to break is making me sick. Just like the image of a Thanos who hasn't been to the gym yet. And then they shut down all the gyms. What did it cost? everything. It looks like if Double D was the one who decided to bring balance to the universe instead. I, I think I need to cull the universe of half its population. Uh, life cannot continue as it has, otherwise we will uh, all go extinct. I'm not really sure if that counts as a Double D voice. It sounded more like Ben Shapiro at some parts. Anyways, back to buff men. Five rules of happiness. One, don't worry. Two, don't hate. Three, give more. Four, expect less. And five, live simply. Ah, I see. Just be happy. Which one is your favorite rule of happiness? I don't fucking know, Ash Cash Yap. Whichever one is the one that makes me happy. If you experience a eerie feeling, understand it might be your spirit guides poking your gut. Guides arrange synchronicities too. Uh, I don't know that I want things poking into my guts or arranging the inside of me at all right now, much less without prior consent. That one's from an account called Beyond Wellness. They traded an S for an extra Y, and why they are running this account, I have absolutely no clue. Well, why does anybody do anything? Apparently our friend here though is an all caps grand master healer, a crystal healer, and a relationship counselor too? Just like our friend Psychic Nala from earlier was? I have found so many of these kind of psychic type motivation accounts today, it feels like such a saturated field. The barrier for entry to this profession must be much lower than I once thought. Less bitter, more glitter. Ah, this post has made me feel rage, and dare I say bitterness, in a way I haven't experienced in quite some time. It's the kind of rage you feel when somebody makes a pun out of your name. It's the type of rage that wills me to launch children into oncoming traffic. You know, I think this was the first post that truly motivated me. It has made me finally act in my desire to just punch more children. I think the sign of a true soulmate isn't someone you just want to do the super cool stuff with. A real soulmate is the person who makes any ordinary day fun. Some people make all these huge plans to do with their special someone. Forget that. Find someone who you can take grocery shopping and still have a blast with. Find someone who makes you look forward to waking up on Monday. <sighs> Man, this is nice and all, but I don't know when Mondays are anymore, brother. And what if I like making big plans to do with someone, huh? And what if I also like going grocery shopping with that person too, bro? Huh? The actual funny part, though, is the disjointed, also motivational quote seeming description attached to the image. It reads like something that was written by a man in his own blood, as he struggles to write down his last words before succumbing to his fatal injuries. Here is my reading of the sacred text, as I try to simulate what it's like with all these line spacings. If your love is pulling away, distancing himself, or has already left you, chances are you've already tried everything to get him back. But there is still a small window of opportunity to draw him irresistibly back into your life, even if he's completely ignoring you right now. Convincing him is nearly impossible. Begging him will only push him further away, and if it works, it will only be temporary and cause more problems. But a part of him still loves you. A part of him still aches to be with you. He may even be thinking of you right now. Watch this short how-to video to learn these words. What happens at the end made my jaw drop. Yeah, probably not how he intended, but comedic and artistic license, okay? And if you were just dying to know what the video was going to say, it's him droning on about the secret to a man's heart. He continuously says that there is one thing that trumps all of man's needs combined over and over again, to the point where it's just genuinely annoying that he hasn't said what it is yet. Then he finally calls it a primal drive, and then he does the same thing with the primal drive, saying that it's super important without telling us what it actually is. Once again, until it's literally just annoying how 
long it's taking. Then he calls it the hero instinct and says the same shit that it's an instinct a man can't ignore without really saying what it is. And then he says you use a secret signal he discovered to activate the hero instinct without saying what it is. The video goes on, but even if it is a real thing, I just fucking hate this guy. Not for any good reason, but because he successfully conned me into looking at his goddamn website for 15 minutes trying to get content for this video. And so I've learned motivation only leads to pain, so it's best to give up. Anyways, back to it then. Next up, horses. This is only an intermission. The show will go on. This one isn't even from a horse-themed motivational images account. It's just an account that usually posts pictures of people riding horses without the impact text font slapped on it. Nobody else gets to live your life. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Dream your own masterpiece into being. Yes, that's very nice and uplifting to be in control of your own destiny and to have agency, but unfortunately for me, I'm a terrible artist. And with that, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Getting quick doses of motivation from Instagram has failed me miserably. In fact, I've never felt more beaten down in my entire life, so I'm really banking on that numbers thing. So guys, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, this is the last week you can cop stuff from Masked Up Drop 2. These designs are gone after this, like poof, decimated, unrecoverable, gone. So be sure to get them while you still can. You can follow me on Twitter at Quite, on Instagram at Quite.png, and on TikTok at Quite TikTok. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I will see you buckaroos next time. <laughs>